Hi everybody, welcome back. Hey, if you're into pressure washing or drain cleaning like I am, and you're looking to get a new reel set up for your hoses, then let's head over to the shop and check out a couple different options. I'll be right back. Oh, say hello to my little buddy over here. Remember that guy? He's all right. Well, welcome back. I just want to show you that reels come in a couple different configurations. The reel you're looking at right now, I'm assembling, it is a stackable reel. You see that square cage around it? Before I put this together, I'm going to show you some of the features that all reels have in common. One is they all have, a, obviously, a drum to wrap your hose around, whether that's a garden hose or a chemical hose or a pressure washer hose. Um, both all reels on one end will have some kind of an inlet so you can either put a handle on this side or you can put a swivel connection which the hose hooks to the fluid goes through so the reel can turn and the water doesn't leak out and then they'll all have some kind of a locking mechanism this one has a manual you screw it down to lock it in place uh, that's once you have your hose all wrapped up and you're traveling down the road you want to make sure that's locked so your hose doesn't come undone and go trailing behind your truck somewhere Inside of here, there's a metal pipe that's inside the reel, and then that's connected to an elbow, and this is where your hose will feed out. So if I was going to set this reel up, the first thing I would do is decide how it's sitting in my truck, and I'd either put the handle on the left side over here so I could crank it, or the handle on the right side, depending on you know how it fits in my rig. And then on the opposite side, that's where I would put my swivel connection. Then I'd connect my hose. So you can either have the fluid going in this way and coming out this end. That's how you would hook up a pressure washer um, or a pump sprayer or something like that. Or you can have the water coming in this end and then coming out the end here. And in this case, this is um, how you would hook it up to the house, to a water supply. So if I had a long hose here, it would roll all the way out, you know, down to the house, and I would turn it on. It would go through there and come out this way to my tank versus if I was on the other side of the pressure washer, the water would be coming the other way around. Or, you know what I'm saying, it would be going through here from the pressure washer, then coming out this way <coughs> so that it would be going to my wand or whatever right, attached to so my soft wash trailer. Uh, this hose right here is the hose that goes to the house to get water. Um, this little connection right here, that's just so when the hose is traveling down the road, I can hook it up like that. It doesn't go to anything. It's just a hose connection. So the water comes in through the hose. It travels around the reel. And then like I showed you before, it pops out on the end here. So you see the hose comes through here, then hooks to that connection where that swivel is. All right. So it's going around, 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 and on the bottom of this hose, so you're going through, around, then the tube is going all the way through the reel, and it's coming around like this, then it's going to my three-quarter inch, then it's going to the filter, then it's going to the Hudson valve, and to the tank. So this has a big curved bar here, and the reason for it is it's for these mounts, so you can mount these like on a trailer or something like that. I have these jury rigged on this little weird stand. I got two of them. That's a pressure washing one and that's the hose from the house. So on that pressure washing one it's just the opposite. The hose is, you know, runs down along that floor down there out the back of the trailer. It hooks up to the pressure washer then it comes through this way and then it goes around the reel and comes out and then goes to my wand. As I was telling you, every reel has some kind of locking pins these particular reels have a pin you pull out like this and you turn you know quarter turn now the reel can move when you want to lock it you turn it back and now the reel is locked and then just for safe measure I put those on that clamp there it's designed you know like I said so you can bolt it on to different things this reel over here is made by the same company uh, if you look at it closely that's a chemical hose and you can see the end here I do not have um, hooked up. Uh, I'll talk about chemical injections and downstream injectors and 
different things like that in another video. But the reason is I don't want chemicals going through my reels and eating away, you know, at the seals and that inside tube and whatever. So basically, that hose is just, you know, crank up handle on one side. I haven't connected anything. It's just basically a crank. I could use a cheaper crank, but I had that handy, so I'm just using it. The other thing all these hoses or reels have in common is it has a little guide bar. Depending on which way you have this mounted in your trailer, you know, you can put it forward or back. Um, you run the end of the hose through there. I hardly ever use them. So, you know, I just don't find them that useful, but some people do. Uh, what's different about this hose is even though it goes in one end and circles around like the other one did, as you can see down here, nothing is connected, but there's a swivel. There's a pin over on that side. I can pop that swivel, and now this hose can turn around 360. So the idea here was, is these hoses were fixed. They both go out this door out the back here to the, you know, to the shop or to the job site. So if I'm doing pressure washing, that hose goes out that way. And of course, if I'm getting fresh water, that hose goes out that way. However, if I'm doing chemical, depending on how my trailer is set up, you know, that hose can either go out the back or it can go out this door. So typically, that's about 100 foot of hose right there. I carry another 50 foot, that's the garden hose. Um, so I park, you know, within 100 foot of the hose bib at the house. That's 100 foot of uh, pressure washer hose. I'm sorry, that's not pressure washing hose. That's the um, drain cleaning hose. It has a real smooth surface, but I can use it for pressure washing as well, but you can't use pressure washer hose down a drain. Anyway, so that hose, that's another discussion. That's 100 foot, and then I carry two more uh, 50 foot hoses, and I believe one more 25 foot. There's one hanging there. Uh, just as a side note, when you have a hose that you've got a hand crank like that, down at the bottom um, with all the stuff around it's really hard to get to so if you do have one close to the bottom you got to bend over to get to it you know make sure you lift it up a little bit so once again every reel turns freely it has a locking mechanism it has some type of hose guide um, and then it'll have a pipe that goes through the reel connected to a swivel so that the hose can turn freely and you still have your water this is another type of reel. This is a simple A-frame reel. In other words, it's just a little uh, mount with a reel in it. As you can see, it has a manual clip right there to hold it in place. But you can buy them like this, or you can buy them with an electric motor on them. Um, that's a little far away, but that one's made by Real Crap. That particular reel has about 150 foot of uh, half inch, <coughs> excuse me, half inch um, or three eighths pressure washer hose on it. Okay, if you look right there, I put a quick connect there, and the reason is on the back of this trailer there's three reels, and so this is the lead hose coming off of the pressure washer. Right now it's connected to this gigantic reel. That holds about 300 foot, and that's my drain cleaning reel. Um, I have a half inch hose in here, 150 feet that goes to the house, um, but when I roll this out, this 3 8 hose for drain cleaning, it'll connect to a foot pedal, so they disconnect in the union in there. Uh, it'll connect to a foot pedal, so that's what actually goes in the drain. So I coil that up, carry it to the drain if it's in a house, hook it to the foot pedal, then keep this clean hose going through the house, you know, because you don't want to drag a nasty hose through the house. I also always clean the hoses every time after drain cleaning, but that's why that reel is so big, so that I can, because uh, it has to get to the you know, to the drain, and then it has to go 150 feet or 200 feet in the drain. So this quick connect, if I'm not drain cleaning, I can disconnect it, and then I can hook it up to that hose and do pressure washing. And then I've got another reel over on the other side we'll go to in a minute um, that is for the garden hose. So this, this hose here is made by um, Haney Reels, I believe it is. Haney, H-A-N-N-E-Y Reels. Um, I really like these. They're local here in New York. And the other reason I like them is not only because they're here, but they sell all their stuff on Amazon. I'll put links to them. But you can get all kinds of parts and stuff for these motors real easy. Just order them on Amazon, get them shipped right to you. They're a little on the expensive side for everything, but they last for quite a while. They're really well built. So you have an electric reel. It's driven by this motor. Motor goes to a 12-volt battery. Um, 
you have an on and off switch right over there and then over on the other end you can't see it you have a um, you know a, a pin to make sure that the hose doesn't reel reel off while you're driving down the road and then of course you've got a guard on around the chain so you don't get hurt on that particular reel from the reel crap it's kind of the same thing you have a motor uh, just the swivels if you look at that smaller swivel right there it just doesn't compare to the swivel over here it's not as heavy duty you know the, the frame's not quite as heavy duty uh, the chain's a little thinner the whole nine yards you get, you get the idea but it's a lot less expensive so and then of course it has a lock and manual locking pin this one has a spring pin I'll show you uh, I have three batteries here they all you know hook in series or parallel whatever that is where uh, negative goes to negative and positive goes to positive and then there's a junction box here because each reel will have a switch to turn it on and off so the juice is always to all the reels but the hose coming from the pressure washer I manually switch over you know and I just unclip it and move it around so let's go to this other side and look at this other reel um, this is another electric reel from Haney and it's just a little taller than the other one it's not quite as long so they come in all different shapes and sizes, but that's a 150 foot or three quarter industrial Goodyear garden hose. So like the other trailer, you know, it comes in this end over here, and then it goes through the reel, through the hose, then comes out the swivel, um, and then it goes up to up to the um, Hudson valve and the filter up there to fill the tank. So when I'm unreeling this hose, that goes all the way to the house. If you look at this connection down here. Um, this is blocked off on this side because I don't need it. There's no handle to manually do it But this is the little pin that I was talking about You can see you just pull that out that way. That's a spring pin So this will not turn as you're going down the road versus The one over here that we were showing you which is a screw down manual pin. Yeah, it takes a second longer to tighten that down This hose on one side around here somewhere. Oh, there it is is like the other hose and you have a on off button down there when you hold the button the hose reels in when you let the button go you manually pull the hose out <clears throat> this one I had to mount a little box and put the on off switch up here so I can really access all the on off switches to these reels very easily okay so that's pretty much all I can tell you about these you know, other than if you don't have an electric reel, save up and get one because, man, I got to tell you, it just saves a ton of work dragging those ho hoses around. So what I do is, you know, when I stretch all the hoses out, which you still have to do manually, basically I'll drag the one end close to the trailer um, and then I'll turn the pressure washer off and I'll relieve all the pressure in the hose. And then I get a rag in my hand and I put it around whatever hose I'm using and I hit that button. And I just reeled in, and it, you know, s takes seconds, and you're done, and no more, you know, dragging around, back aching. It, they're just a godsend. Well, there you have it. Hose reels come in a lot of different configurations and different sizes. So just remember this. A, how is it going to fit into your trailer? Does it have to be stacked? Can it be mounted to a wall? You know, does it need to swivel, or is it only going to face one direction? Second, how much pressure do you need? You need 4,000 pound hose reels for your rig or 3,000 pound hose reel or is it just simple manual crank reel for a garden hose? All these affect the price. How wide is the reel or how tall the reel drum is? That affects how much hose you can put on it. So there's a wide variety. Just think about what you're doing before you buy the reel. Look your rig over. Make sure you get the right pressures and everything will be great. And remember, I'm all right. Okay, you don't know who my little buddy is, do you? This is the uh, little gopher dude from Caddyshack. That's right, boys and girls, you win a cubie doll. I'm licensed to kill gophers. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there'll probably be another one popping up over here for you to watch. Or you can always hit our subscribe button that pops up here, or the little button down there. Don't forget, leave your comments down below, and I'll try to answer you when I can. So you have a great day. Like our video, share it on Facebook or your favorite social site, and we'll catch you next time around.